everyone. Some old man again. And we're all finished putting our plants in our beds. So I wanted to talk about the next thing that I'm working on. Besides the general cleanup, I'm also going ahead and securing chicken wire against the wooden fence to keep out rabbits. Last year I was not completely finished putting up the chicken wire so I did have a rabbit problem. As you can see some of the chicken wire has not been completely fastened down. So I'll be working on that here in the next few days nailing it all down and keeping those darn wascally rabbits out. Uh, while we're out here I wanted to show you something else that I've worked on in the last day or two. Let's pan across here past bed number four and I'm going to show you if we can see it because of the different lighting my dog patch a little area that I didn't have much use for otherwise wouldn't really be good for plants so I decided to provide a little patch of grass for our little puppy dog who's not so little not so small and young but she still acts like a puppy sometimes as you can see it's only about three foot wide and six or seven feet long didn't take me but about half an hour to lay it out the biggest part of it of course is the blocks and I've got a little bit of a planter behind it and I just decided to plant some more shrubbery I have two blueberry bushes to supplement the three I have up on the hill plus an azalea just to look pretty and satisfy my wife so that's all I've been working on out here for the last day or so and I've got a little bit of border that I'll be putting in but then this will be done and it'll be on to the next thing but for the next week or so I'm going to be putting the chicken wire on the fence so it's not going to keep me so much occupied and I'll be talking about other subjects until I'm done with that one. This is some old man. We'll go back into the office and see if I can't talk there some more. Welcome inside everyone. This is some old man bringing you into the workspace just to show you where I work when I'm not out in the garden or doing something outside. I'm going to pan around just to show you what I have to live with. Take a brief flyby of my seed shelf where I get plants started for outside in the garden. My first work table, hosting my personal computer and my ham radio. Then going across to the next table where I have my work computer three screens on that one which is really convenient and on to the third table where you'll see one two three computers the fourth table where you see one two three more computers and my printer and back to where we started pan back around I have a whole lot of junk on my table and I really should clean up some but I have a lot of work to do and this is where I do it. I do have a view out to the garden through a window on either side of my computer so if I get bored I could just take a peek and see what there is out there. If I get really bored of course I just go ahead and get up and walk out the door and I'm back in the garden. So I'm going to go ahead and include this video just to give you a taste of what I work with as I'm preparing my Some Old Man videos. Some Old Man. On to the next thing. Some Old Man. We're going to go ahead and make dinner tonight. I thought I'd invite you along as I make it. And as long as I'm doing it, I thought I'd explain 
my process of working in the kitchen. What you see in front of you is a snapshot of my bookmark page that allows me to quickly find anything of the vast collection of items that I've bookmarked over the years. Some of the bookmarks on this page are obsolete, but others are not because I use them quite a bit. Well, tonight I wanted to go ahead and make a chicken and zucchini casserole. I don't believe that I've already printed out the instructions for this, so we're going to look them up and do that right now. So I go to recipes for meats and chicken. chicken. Baked chicken and zucchini casserole. It just happens to be the very thing at the top of the page. So since this one is fairly current, the web page has not died on me. So I'm going to scroll down, jump to recipe. And these things, these recipes that I've kind of bookmarked, and I've collected several hundred of them over the years, are things you can Google for online. Use your favorite search engine. And when you find the web, find the find what you like, bookmark it. And if you've got as many as I do, you probably categorize it by the various types of food they are. Things that are meats, meat recipes, uh, and if they're meat, if they're chicken, beef, pork, fish, whatever. This is just the process I go. So it doesn't look like there's much there. Let me look in the print view and there we go. So we actually have a recipe there that's printable. So I'm going to do that real quick. Print it. And make sure that this is all working right and I'm going to print it and that will come out on the printer and then I will take that page over to the kitchen and we'll go ahead and be cooking dinner tonight and I'll bring you along with me as I do it. Some old man off to the kitchen. Welcome to some old man's kitchen. Tonight we're going to make one of my wife's current favorite recipes, zucchini and chicken. What do we call it? Baked chicken and zucchini casserole with tomato. Internet uh, favorite, uh, one of about a dozen. I'll go ahead and make maybe once a month. And I have in front of me here all the ingredients that I need for making the chicken. Of course, the chicken is thawed. I've got a zucchini. I'm not going to slice up the tomatoes since I don't have any on hand. I'll use about a half a can of diced tomatoes. It seems to work just as well. And, of course, mozzarella cheese. For spices, I've got olive oil to be cooking in. And I've got basil and oregano and garlic powder. So I'm going to go ahead and film after I've done the work just before I start cooking. Right now I need to go ahead and cut up the chicken and the cucumbers. I'm not going to film that because it just takes me a while. So we'll go ahead and stop the camera and then when I get it all cut up I'll show you what, I'm, what I've got and I'll start putting together and on camera. Some old man off to cook. I really wanted to go ahead and show you me putting the, the chicken and vegetables in the pan and getting it into the oven. Unfortunately, my camera decided to go on the fritz for, for that particular uh, segment. So instead, I'm going to show you the recipe that you can pause it here and record it. I've also got another browser in the background with the actual URL of the site that I got this from. So you don't have to search that hard. So 
go ahead and continue to enjoy the recipe. I included the, most of the rest of the video, and I think it was fairly successful. Some old man turning back to the kitchen. Well, our chicken is ready to put on the cheese, so I'm going to pull it out of the oven. Next step done. I'm hoping that the camera is recording now. It's been giving me fits ever since I bought it, so that's what I get for getting a cut rate camera, huh? So I just carefully, as you can see, measure out half a cup of cheese. And actually, I don't measure it at all. I just say, well, that looks about right. I know that the recipes are there for a reason as a guideline. So, with that, I'll go ahead and put this back into the oven for another five minutes, and then we should be good. So, we'll put the timer on, five more minutes, and then it'll be done. for dinner. We're going to find out here in just 41 seconds. Although I imagine that the timing isn't totally critical, but it doesn't take but a few extra seconds to wait for it. Well, I hope you all enjoyed today's video covered several topics, and I hope you enjoyed at least some of them, if not all of them. Come again next time, in the next episode, and we'll be talking about something else, probably something in the yard, something in the house, but whatever it is, join me for my life and thoughts, some old man. Signing off.